This could be taken so wrong. What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina the channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Rising of the Shield Hero. If you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you'd like to support the channel, we got channel membership, Patreon, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to Rising of the Shield here, Season 2, Episode 1. After overcoming the worst of the waves. Oh, they're going right into it. No, like, recaps and such. More like a review of what's happening in the past and what's happening right now. I love it. Oh yes, isn't it satisfying that he's being called a lord? He's being acknowledged for who he is, what he deserves. <laughs> the childhood friend is still small. Oh, he's going to train the heck out of her. Yeah, she needs to grind. I really like how they introduce Key into the story. Oh, she's so quick. She's like, nope. <laughs> a wimp. <laughs> she called him a wimp. Yeah, what's that? What's that? What's happening here? <gasps> no! Child! But this just gives them an opportunity to save the day! Mm-hmm, looking all cool. Look at that! They have not gotten rusty. They are still refining their skills. The familiar, the familiar of the tortoise, yeah? Bruh, the soundtrack. They are making this sound so ominous. Ooh. Tortoise. Tortoise. Season two. I'm so excited to see the opening at the end of this episode. Like, oh my gosh. I'm anticipating.
Yeah, that party that didn't appreciate Risha. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting, this meeting over here. Yeah, you knew something about them? What do you mean it's true? Spirit tortoise. Bring horrific disaster to the world once every few centuries. Wait, what? 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 Why are you guys walking away? Oh! Ooh, karma gonna eat you guys. Mm-hmm. It's gonna get back right at you. Walking away on a local problem. Ugh! They still feel like they're not part of this world. They have like that disconnection. Oh, she's still asking to be a princess again. <laughs> Showing her true colors, yo. That's interesting. Interesting interaction. I wonder if he's doing it just to be like, Oh, I do know her. I know about her and her parents' situation. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. You're gonna pay for that. Huh. This seems a lot more dramatic than I thought it would be. Yeah. <laughs> the fan, yo. Important checkpoints. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Bridge between humans and demi humans. The queen is so happy that Melty is doing something that she can experience and use those skills and experience when she becomes a queen herself.
Mm-hmm. Back at the weapon shop. Mm-hmm. Ooh, we're gonna see the other nations too. Jeez, magic and key. Jeez Louise, she is influenced heavily by that other hero. Yeah! Because now we can hold anything except for that shield. Right after she says it's not scary. <laughs> yeah, it seems kind of extreme, yeah. She's like, this is so normal, this is easy. And now she's realizing that there's other circumstances. It's not as easy as she thought it would be. This could be taken so wrong! But she only wants to be strong to be with the bow here, though. This is where it goes no pain, no gain. Yeah, she didn't waste any time, yo. <laughs> Stop making that. She never gets rid of it. <laughs> no matter how much stronger she gets, she still makes that noise. <laughs> it's just part of her personality. Is it just me? Are they utilizing or showcasing more like game RPG features? I like it. It makes it feel really different from the other season. Hmm. I wonder if it's because they're going to be utilizing those features throughout the season. And that's why we're seeing it more. Like, for example, now for me, was using it to see what that bat was and he saw the countdown 
And maybe it's because last season they all shared their knowledge about the system. I guess we would call it the system. So now that now Fumi knows about it, he's using it. Like, dang, I was struggling without knowing about these features. Hell yeah, I'm gonna use it now. <laughs> Refugees. Yep, refugees. Oh, yo! It's moving! It's moving! She's communicating. The choice she spoke of before. She's mad. <laughs> I like, guess yeah, she honestly cares about him. <laughs> See, she made the noise again. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like the progression of this episode. They're really flowing with the story. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we start fighting with the spirit tortoise in this episode. Or encounter it, at least. Three of the four died? Oh, she is just going ahead. Personhood. Sus. So suspicious. Mm-hmm. They didn't really die. All the heroes are still alive. But... That just means that the other three were still defeated, right? Ooh! We gotta get rid of these familiars! Huh, I didn't notice that the familiars had tortoise shells on their back. Was I not paying attention to the manga?
Very cool. Very cool with the details, with the skills and such. And I'm really noticing his shield, like the design. Did we skip a part, like, at a village? A village that was being terrorized by the bats? Hmm. Oh, well, now he means looking super cool right now. Like, go now for me, go now for me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You okay? He says he's fine. He says he's good. Another hooded figure. So that's our reaction to Rising of the Shield. Here is season two, episode one. I feel like they're just going right into battling or going into that arc. I want to say arc with the spirit tortoise because I could have sworn that there is like a built up to it like now for me was in a village and the bats appeared and you know he's like oh what are these bats and he's solving all the afflictions that's happening in the surrounding area and then he's learning about the spirit tortoise and how the familiars are related to it and such i feel like there's a build-up for that but i guess that's not important enough to have to show it in this show in this episode in this series it's not really super important like it, it was like a good build up this one is totally fine in my opinion this is perfectly fine it flowed right got the important points had a meeting with the heroes and they're like nah and then they had <laughs> That scene with the suspicious hooded figure saying, yeah, the heroes, they died. They went after the spirit tortoise and they died. And I feel like they're purposely showcasing Risha's devotion to the bow hero. And I feel like it's going to be very prominent for the show, like showcasing her growth becoming independent and then maybe showcasing the bull hero kind of realizing that she is alive and such because a lot of these heroes they're kind of they still view this world as a game and they have that disconnection and whatnot if you disagree you can let me know i know this beer hero he's kind of He's emotional. <laughs> He's very attached to some things and whatnot. But besides that, I like how they showcased the female hooded figure towards the end because I think the manga did that too. Like at the end of a chapter, it was like, oh, who is this mysterious person? I like that they did that again with the anime, kind of making it similar consistent and it's also like that Ooh, capture my attention who are you why did you say kill me i like that i liked it but besides that let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments below and if you want to talk outside of youtube there's a discord link is in the description i also stream on twitch.tv slash like outside of youtube and twitch i host podcasts across worlds where i talk about anime manga and other things we like to talk about if you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms.
Other than that, my name is Lihua, and this is Sister Purifina Chana reacting to Rising of the Shield here, episode one, season two. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys like this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Later!